Welcome to MonroeMotors.com. Here we have a 2020 Chevrolet Corvette 2LT Stingray Coupe in Arctic white on adrenaline red interior. Uh, so I've got the target top removed right now. As you can see, it's placed nicely in its uh, home here in the back of the vehicle. Uh, so it just clips in on the corners. Um, so you, you just simply pull this and the other corner and it will release. Uh, there's your engine there, which is the V8 6.2 liter motor. Uh, it's uh, 490 horsepower and uh, that's paired to an eight speed automatic uh, transmission. Um, and as you can see, it's nice and neat and tidy there. Looks good. So we'll go ahead, we'll close up the rear. Um, it does have soft close, so I'll just press it and it will pull itself shut. We've got the nice carbon flash metallic Z51 style spoiler. We've got the carbon flash badge package. Uh, also up top here, we've got a camera. So that camera works with the uh, rear view mirror. So you, when you flick the, uh, uh, the button there, it either goes to a mirror or to that camera. Uh, there's also a reverse camera here. And I'll just step back so you can see the back. We've got the LED taillights. We've got the uh, quad exhaust tip, so two on each side. And it's got the performance exhaust on it as well. Uh, so there's a Z button on the uh, steering wheel that you can press that will quickly uh, change it from performance mode to normal mode, uh, which also changes the uh, tone of the exhaust. So we'll just shift around here. Here's your rear wheel. Uh, so nice black uh, Z51 style wheels, uh, black painted calipers, and nice Michelin tires on there. We've got the carbon flash metallic accents that run along there. And here's your door panel on the passenger side. So we've got the nice red uh, deviated or baseball stitching. We've got the Bose uh, Performance Series stereo. We've got memory, uh, two user memory and an exit button uh, for the passenger seat. Uh, we've got the door lock, electronic door release, and uh, we've got our power windows there. Uh, have a look at the kick plate. It's in fabulous condition, as you can see. And then for the passenger, we've got power fore, aft, up, down, power recline, lumbar, and side bolster adjustment. Uh, these are the GT1 seats, and I'll just go ahead and scan up them so you can see the condition. Looks great. So as I get in, just have a look in the door frame, nice and clean. Let's have a look in the, uh, the glove box here. So uh, we've got the books and uh, the wheel lock key is here. So that's great. It's all there. And that's the button there to release. And then you've got your vents uh, here. And we've got the nice red deviated stitching that runs along the dash with the extra red accents uh, there. And as you can see, the dash is in really good shape. Looks good. So we'll just hop out and uh, we'll close this side up. Uh, have a look in the mirror. So that's your blind spot monitor indicator. So if someone's in your blind spot, that will light up with an amber light. And I'll just step back here and I'll scan down this side of the car so you can see the condition. Looks great. And we've got the carbon flash uh, metallic lower half of the mirror and the upper in the Arctic white. There's your front wheel. So again, nice black style Z51 style wheels, uh, black painted calipers and nice Michelin tires there. We'll just shift around the front. Uh, so I've got the uh, front trunk open here. Uh, so we've got a trunk release, a 12 volt socket there. Uh, we've got the net uh, that's new in the package. Uh, we've got the Corvette charger. Um, and let's see, not sure what that is, but there's another goodie there. It might be a net of some sort as well. Um, and then we've got our washer fluid fill up there. And I'll go ahead, we'll close the uh, front and we'll have a look from up here. So we've got LED headlights, LED turn signals, LED daytime running lights. Uh, we've got the front curb view cameras down here. So there's one there. There's one on this side. And as you can see, the front end of the car is in fabulous condition. Looks good. And we'll just have a close look, see if there's any marks. Uh, it looks like there's one tiny little mark here. It's very, very small, but uh, it's there. It may come out. It doesn't feel like a stone chip. Uh, so it just may come out with uh, polishing there, but I did want to just share that with you. Uh, so we'll shift around here. Here's your front wheel. So again, nice set 51 style wheels, black painted calipers, Michelin tires, and same thing back here. Great. So off to the driver's side, uh, we've got the nice adrenaline red accent, Bose Performance Series stereo. Uh, we've got our power mirrors, power folding mirrors, and power windows. We've got the two user exit or two user memory with exit button as well. Uh, for the driver's side, we've got our power locks, our electronic door release, and we've got our power uh, releases for the, the front and rear trunks down there. 
Um, here's the kick plate on the driver's side. Uh, so it's in pretty good shape, a couple minor little marks on it, uh, but we'll polish it so we'll make it look the best we can for you. For the driver's seat, we've got power four, aft, up, down, power recline, power lumbar, and side bolster adjustment. And I'll just go ahead and scan up the seat so you can see the condition. Looks good. So as I get in, just have a look in the door frame, nice and tidy. And let's get in and fire this one up. So it's push button start over here. There it is. All right, so in terms of kilometers, we have 1,466. No warning lights, no issues on the dash. Everything looks good there. Uh, down below, uh, let's see, we've got uh, heads up display control. Uh, so that's these buttons, and I'll just show you there on the dash. There's your heads up display, so that's great. Um, and down below, we've got uh, electronic parking brake here. We've got our dimmer for the dash. That's this control here. Uh, so it'll brighten and dim the dash. Uh, we've got our power tilt and telescopic steering wheel control here. Uh, we've got paddle shifters, minus and plus up here. There's your Z performance button. Uh, so when we press that, uh, you'll see it, um, let's see. It just changes the tone of the exhaust. So that's great. Um, and then we've got our cruise control here. We've got our favorites or track change and uh, we've got our volume controls here and then we've got the arrow, arrow keys here that work the dash. Uh, so we've got all the different options here. So that's great. Uh, we've got heated steering wheel, voice command, Bluetooth controls and uh, again push button start and then we've got our radio here. So I'll just hit home. Uh, there's audio. Uh, so audio is AM, FM, Sirius XM, Bluetooth streaming. Uh, let's see, nav. So there's your full factory navigation. Uh, we'll go over here, uh, PDR. So there's your performance data recorder. And we'll go home again, cameras. So we've got, uh, those are the front curb view cameras. Um, there's your reverse camera. Um, so you got the upper and lower camera. So there's two different views there. And front cameras again, and zoomed in on the front. So that just pairs the two images together to make one. So that's great. Uh, here's your shifter. So you've got park, reverse, neutral, and drive, and back to park. Um, you've got mode selector. So as we twist that, uh, we get the different options. My mode, uh, terrain, um, sport, track uh, and I think there's one more there's a weather let's see my mode oh yeah there's the weather so different modes you, ju you just twist it you just turn the knob there to do that uh, we've got a quick button for the front cameras we've got uh, traction control on and off and then we've got our heating controls along here so we've got temperature control here for the driver heated and cooled seat uh, sync button auto auto uh, for the climate control the fan control and uh, passenger controls down here, heated and cooled seats, and their temperature as well. Uh, we've got cup holders. Uh, here's one of the keys, so you can see it's got lock unlock, uh, remote start, uh, trunk releases, and a panic button as well. Uh, there is two keys with it, so, and let's have a look in here. So we've got um, uh, USB-C, USB, uh, auxiliary in, and a SD card reader. And then we have a wireless phone charger here as well. Uh, so that's great. So we'll just hop out with the running, have a look and a listen. Wow, what a beast. So I'll just show you from the front with the headlights on. Love the Arctic white on the Adrenaline Red. It's a great color combo. Let me just scan down this side of the car for you so you can see the condition. There it is from the back tail lights are, are very cool and how to listen to the exhaust great note to it there you have it, folks 2020 Chevrolet Corvette Arctic white on adrenaline red 2LT here and available at MonroeMotors.com come on down and have a look at this one for yourself look forward to seeing you real soon